Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a little unboxing video. I feel like this should be part of one of my hauls, but I just got this package and I'm excited. So I thought I'd film it for you guys and do some swatches as well. So this brand I have been wanting to try in 2018 and it is the brand Cindy Grace. Oops, I just dropped my package and this is formerly known as Feather River Body, I believe. And I think I had heard other beauty YouTubers talk about this brand, but I heard about them again, I think from like Georgia Harris, Angelica Nyquist, and Hot Mess Ness, and I'm sure more people. But I decided to finally go ahead and order because I believe they had a sale of some sort going on. And I couldn't decide, so I went with their winter bundle. Just got the shadows only because it was like really fun colors. And I feel like I have every neutral shade already in my collection. So I decided to go with something colorful. So this is a little Uline 4x4x4 box that they sent me. And then this was in there. And I just dropped my receipt so I can't show it to you. But this is how they come packaged. There's a little bit of tissue that we'll toss and here are all the shadows I ordered. I believe this set comes with 13 eyeshadows so yeah I really really wanted her shade give me something magical or it was a cool shade it came out for Valentine's and I decided to go with the bundle instead because I felt like that was a better deal and I don't know it was like curated so I knew I was gonna get a really cool you know color story so these are beautiful look at the packaging oh my gosh and then she's got the ingredients on the back and it looks like these are made in California now this is an indie brand I believe they might have even been an Etsy shop at some point but I bought it on their website if you just do Sydney Grace on Google it'll come up I'll go ahead and link the website down below in case you guys are having a hard time I'm finding it but I'm gonna go ahead and open these so the first shade is called winter time and the names are on a sticker on the back here so I don't know if there's a faster way to get these out other than ripping the packaging but it's so pretty I kind of really don't want to I guess these are technically just gonna end up in the trash anyway so so pretty and I do have a Z palette that I got from my Mario Masterclass that I went to a few years ago. So I'm just going to repurpose that for this collection. And so this is Winter Time by Sydney Grace. So this is the first ever shadow from them. I've swatched because I've never bought anything from this brand before. Like I said, I've just heard so many of the YouTubers I watch recently talk about this brand. So I was like, yeah, I'm like determined to try pretty much every brand, um, like indie brand that I can this year. So yeah, very, very cool. This shade is called, oh, this is a little bit flaky. Um, this one is called Black Ice. And I don't think I have a shade like this. And they're pressed pretty hard. They're not like crumbly by any means, but this is like a beautiful silvery gray shade. How cool is that? I don't know. Do you think I'll regret buying like the winter collection? I just thought she hadn't come out with her summer one yet. So I was like, well, I really want to try these. So I just have no patience. It's terrible. Okay, this next shade is called Below Zero and it looks like it's a really bright blue. Oh my gosh. You know, the other thing I've noticed too with these little indie brands, a lot of them follow each other. So I've seen like between Sydney Grace, Stroke Cosmetics, I've just seen them all like like each other's pictures and stuff and I think that's so so cool that they support each other, you know? Because they're technically like competing against each other but that's so cool that they also try to support each other as they grow in their makeup endeavors. So here is the shade Below Zero. It's a beautiful, vibrant, like blue shade. So let me go ahead and swatch that. Ooh, this is pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. It's got like a little dual chrominess to it. I think there's like a definite like purpley undertone in there. So very, very fun shade. I just am gonna have up to my eyeballs in trying out makeup here. It's so naughty, but I just, it's like Pokemon. I gotta try them all. This is the shade. Ooh, this is so pretty. It's like a teal color and it's called Comforter. Hopefully you guys can see that. 
Ooh, that's pretty. <gasps> this is beautiful. It's like a teal with like a gold flip. Super pretty. Wow. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. I feel pretty spoiled. Okay, next shade is Celebrate. Look at this color. It's like a beautiful um, chartreuse color. It reminds me so much of Kathleen Light's Telepathy that she did with ColourPop. There's super shock shadow in this color. Oh, I love it. Such a beautiful chartreuse shade. And you know, guys, for brown eyes, I swear they recommend green shadows, but I really feel like it's not that flattering but I do love this color I'm gonna wear this no matter what but I feel like some of those like typically if you have brown eyes you should wear green as like a bunch of baloney I really think you should just wear whatever color you feel best in but yeah sometimes I just don't know if that's necessarily always true those like I don't even know are there rules I don't know whatever you want to call them okay this shade is flannel look at this color it's so beautiful so, so, oh shit, I just dug into it with the packaging. It's like an electric purple. Kind of reminds me of this shade I just got from the brand Suva Beauty. Oh my gosh, it is so vibrant. And people always say purples are the hardest shade to make. So there is that color and it is called Flannel. This next shade is a matte and it's like a, I would say it's like a cement color and it's called Miracle. So let's see what the matte formula feels like. It's very pigmented. I'm also swatching on my hairy arm, so don't mind me. This is definitely not a me color. Like if I had to pick it out, I wouldn't pick that shade, but that's okay because this was a winter bundle. So I will try it out and see. This shade is called Jolly. Ooh, this is like a blackened purple color. So there it is. Ooh, I don't know if I have anything like this in my collection. It's got a lot of black undertone. There it is, super pretty, wow. Oh, this shade is so pretty. This is evergreen and it is a beautiful matte green color. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. I love green eyeshadow. <laughs> Just to have and look at even. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, me and my husband both love the shade green. It's like our favorite color. Oh god, look at how buttery that is. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, ice fishing is next. This looks like a dark blue. Ooh, that is pretty. Did I just, oh, wow. These are so freaking pigmented. The mattes are intense. Wow, that is really, really cool. Look at my hands. <laughs> okay, this is called a bees, A-B-I-E-S. How do you say that? Is that, I don't know how to say it. It's another green, oh my gosh. This is like a dark, dark black and green color wow this is so pretty holy god you guys ready oh my gosh that was like one swatch you guys this is insane okay then this shade is called mittens and this looks like a chocolatey brown color let's get in here here is mittens sorry i didn't mean to like jam it in the camera this is so gorgeous look at that Oh my god, these are so pigmented. Are you kidding me? Are you guys sick of hearing me say that? <laughs> wow, this is so cool. This is so cool. Okay guys, last shade. It's called Winter Wonder. And I think this is still available on their website. And they also have a fall bundle. Now I kind of want the fall bundle too. Shit. Ooh, this is pretty. These are like my favorite colors right now. Are they like the mauves? This is really, really pretty. Holy shit. Ooh. Okay, you guys ready? Last one. My pinky isn't strong enough. <laughs> okay, there it is. I can see it in my viewfinder, so you guys should be able to see it too. But 
Here are all the shades from the Winter Bundle by Sydney Grace in case anyone was interested. I just wanted to swatch it for you guys because like I said, I just got my little package in the mail and I was super duper curious. So yeah, that is everything from me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you are a fan of Sydney Grace or you've shopped from the brand before, can you guys leave me comments down below telling me what your favorite shade is? I'd be so curious to hear about it and maybe pick up some more shadows from them. So I hope you have a fantastic day and thank you for stopping by. Bye guys!